everybody welcome back Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today in my hand I have two things I have a drop cloth it's a canvas drop cloth and I also have about 30 feet of parachute cord the focus of my video today is to show you a survival situation as if this is all you had this drop cloth say this is all you had or maybe you had a blanket or something like that and you needed to make some shelter so that's what I want to show in this video so let me put this down and I'm going to show you a little bit about this paracord the first thing I need to do is I need to take one of the ends of the paracord okay you see the end right here and I want to tie a bowline knot okay so I'm coming around coming over see this little tail is in front making a little loop like that and I'm making my small loop in the back so I'm going to come in the hole underneath the long end see that and back out of the hole this will create my bowling knot it's a very good knot to use now I like to put the tail of my bowling on the outside some people put the tail on the inside but this is going to be my bowling and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to run it around the tree over there and use it as my ridge line for my shelter I come around here, come around the tree. Now the loop that was on my bowline, I'm basically going to run all of this cordage through. And what this will do is this will make me a good tight ridge line. I'm going to go a little bit higher today than I normally do. Normally I go about waist high gonna go a little bit higher let's go about the height of this branch or so this will give me a good height it's not real cold so I'm gonna run this all the way down to the other tree at the other end and I'll show you what I do over there okay so I have my cordage in my hand what I want to do is I want to wrap it around this little tree here but what I, what I want to do before I do that is I want to put some sort of little loop in here so that I can use it to tighten it. So the loop that I like to use is just a, sample, a simple slip knot. So I'll be like this. See? This part that comes underneath. See this one on top, this one on the bottom. This one that's aiming to the ground, I'm just going to shove it through nice and slow and tighten all this up and I have a nice little slip knot now what I'll do with that slip knot see you see the slip knot over here by my finger I'm gonna run the rest of the cordage around the tree and I'm, my goal is to come back to that slip knot okay so you see my slip knot right here I'm gonna take the rest of my cordage Okay, you can start to see the ridge line appearing. I'm going to take the rest of my cordage and I'm going to run it through the loop of this slip knot. See that? Now from here, when I pull this cordage here, it tightens the whole line. The whole ridge line gets tightened. See that? hope I can show you that without getting in the way of the camera. See that? puts a lot of pressure on it and it gives me a good tight line from here I want to pinch this area together once I get the line tight where I want it and I'm going to set both layers over and pull the tail through and jerk it back against the slip knot and this little tail right here is a good tail that I can use to put the corner of my tarp into I'll show you that in a second okay here's a closer view of what I just did now you can see that this slip knot has like a tail on it the purpose of this tail is if I pull it what will happen is it will undo my ridge line it will loosen everything see how loose that got now let me tighten it back up and I'll show you how I tied it again so I'm here I'm pulling see there's my slip knot 
I'm trying to do this so you can see real clearly what I'm doing. Okay, see how I'm tightening it all up? Right there, this little bite right here is what I'm talking about. This is the bite that you want to hold with your index finger and your thumb. This portion of the line over here by you, this is what you want to lay over top of the ridge line and reach through and pull the tail through. Then you pull this back onto the slip knot and everything will come tight. And again, this is the slip knot that you could use to hold one of the corners of your tarp. Now, if you have a little bit of excess line over here and you want to get rid of it, just run it through your hand. Make it like this run it around nothing too crazy stick the corners through you're basically just securing this corner you're making a nice little loop with this rope nothing too crazy nothing too fancy just a very basic loop now we're going to use this in a minute okay so I have my my drop cloth in my hand and what I want to do is I want to get the lengthwise, I want it lengthwise with the shorter distance coming back and I want the long distance going left to right. So I'm going to kind of unfold this thing and take a look and see which one, which way I need to move it. And this is, this could be, like I said, this could be a blanket, this could be anything because we're, we're pretending that we're in a survival situation, right? Okay, so there's my drop cloth. Let me come find the corner. So it looks like, watch out baby. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like I got it good. Now, this corner right here, that's close to you, is the corner that I want to use. And you're probably looking at the drop cloth and you're saying, how are you gonna attach that? You don't have any grommets. Well, that's, one of the reasons why I left this tail and this nice loop on this slip knot is because I can take this tail, put it through the tarp or through the material, and run this slip knot through. See that? And just pull this tight. And what this will do is this will act like a grommet and it'll hold my tarp in place. So it's going to hold that corner for me. Now I'm going to stretch the tarp out and I'm going to go finish the other end. Okay, now it's time to attach this other end. So what I have in my hand is I have a small, just a piece of wood. You can use just about anything. You can use a shotgun shell, you can use a rock, you can use a stick, anything. You just need something to put into the material that you can double over the material and get an external grommet as I like to call it. Now the knot that I like to use to hold that is a lark's foot or a lark's head and, and that works really good but before I can use that I need to attach this line to my ridge line using a Prusik knot. So I'm going to basically make three knots through. Two, Three. And what the Prusik will do is it's a self-tightening knot. It's a, a slip knot, if you will. It's used very commonly in climbing and applications like that. So I have my Prusik. Now let's go ahead and use our lark's head, lark's foot, lark's head, whatever you want to call it, to put around the corner of our drop cloth. And this this will keep everything tight. And the Prusik, what we're going to do with the Prusik is we're going to run it up the ridge line and it's going to slowly add tension on our tarp. The more we tighten this, the tighter it will stay. See that? So we have a good solid ridge line. I'm going to go ahead and keep tightening it a little bit. And there we go. Now we need to stake back the corners. And then we'll be done. Okay, so now at this point, I'm just going to drive a stake in the ground. And I'm going to kind of lean it away from my shelter. 
nothing too crazy. I just use a little stick here to dig a little hole under it. Uh, I'll show you my stakes here in a minute. I have special stakes that I like to use. I have in my hand a small pine cone. And what I'm going to do with this little bit of paracord that I have is I'm going to connect this again to my tarp. So I'm going to do just another slip knot here. Put an overhand knot in the end of it so it doesn't slip out. Let me redo that. That's not the way I wanted it. So a small slip knot. I'm going to run it over itself. And this is going to be what I'm going to use to catch the corner of my drop cloth. I just put the pine cone underneath and I use this like a lasso to catch this corner. See I have a lot of spring to it. Now I'm going to come through, stepping on my line here, come through and I need to do kind of the same thing that I did with my ridge line. I'm going to make a small slip knot here, step on my cordage, run my cordage through the loop on my stake in the ground. And now from here, I'm going to run the edge of this through the slip knot again, just the same way I did the ridge line. Now from here, I can pull this through. Oh, I had a second slip knot. So I'm going to pull this through just the same way I did earlier. This will tighten up my tarp real nice. From here again, I lay everything over the top, reach under the bottom and pull it through, and pull it upward towards the tarp, towards the slip knot. Now any excess cordage that you have, again, just run it around your fingers. And then tie it off together so you have like a little bundle. These little bundles are nice because if you lost your light and it's really dark outside and you're trying to find things, you're trying to find more specifically the slip knot, you'll just look for these bundles and then when you pull these bundles loose, look, it'll release everything. So that's what you're looking for is those bundles. Because those bundles are connected to your slip knot. So I'm just tucking that through. A couple more hits on the stake and we're set. So here you have it everybody. In a survival situation this would be home for a night or two. Now let me talk about my stakes to you for a second. You can see that I have long nails here. These are like 12 inch nails I got at my local hardware store. And what I did was I bought some rock climbing hangers and I welded them to the top of these nails. They're excellent stakes. They go in the ground very well and you can tie off here. They're, they're very good to use. I love them. They work good. They're cheap to make. 